George and Carol, she was relatable. From Laura Petri on the Dick Van Dyke Show to Mary Richards on the Mary Tyler Moore Show, she was loved by so many. Fans paying their respects to Mary Tyler Moore at her statue today. It stands in Minneapolis, the city the Mary Tyler Moore Show helped make famous, but the sculpture itself made in Milwaukee. It was definitely one of those aha moments. This artist was part of the team who helped Gwendolyn Gillen, seen here at the dedication ceremony with the actress, create the life-size bronze statue 15 years ago. She would have met with Mary Tyler Moore, photographed her, talked to her, began to understand her mannerisms. Someone else who spent time with the star, Steve Betcher, a documentary filmmaker and former TMJ4 photojournalist. She kind of redefined an era, and especially for women, I think, that, you know, she came on, she was young, she was independent, she worked at a television station. Betcher spent two days with the actress while working on his PBS TV documentary series, Pioneers of Television. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely and talented Miss Mary Tyler Moore. Mary Tyler Moore, a celebration, aired in 2015 to coincide with the 45th anniversary of the Mary Tyler Moore show, one of her last TV interviews. It's wonderful to help someone else get a laugh, but it's God's own gift to get one yourself. She was just so gracious and so warm and so wonderful to everybody, and I think that's what I remember the most about her. The filmmaker interviewed Oprah for the documentary who said she decided to be in TV because of Mary Tyler Moore, an inspiration to many of us. George and Carol. You know, I, I hear that all the time. People say that, and I am one of those people. <laughs> Corrine, thank you very much.